Hey guys, in this video we are going to be creating drawing substitutions specifically for the hand at this point. Um, the other situations will be pretty much the same. Um, so we are doing it for a rotating rig. It is going to work in a similar way if you are using peg pivots. Um, so any rig that would be using peg pivots at this point. Um, so basically you don't have the luxury of drawing your hand just wherever you want you would want it to be exactly centered on this point here. Um, so in the previous examples that we've done, we've set our pivot points on the underlay. So as little indicators inside the drawings, um, if I just go over to my hand, we have this one over here. Um, so when I want to create new drawings, Right now, for the hand, I've animated it across the timeline using the peg, of course. Um, but if I wanted to have a new drawing at this specific position, um, I'm not at my zero value position. It's all fine. At this point, I could go ahead and find my drawing on my timeline over here. So this is my hand. Um, instead of creating a new empty drawing, what I would like to do is just duplicate it. Um, the reason why I'm duplicating it is that I'll also have the point indicator inside of my underlay, which I want to keep to really be able to center my drawings specifically on that point. So I'm going to duplicate it, which will create a new drawing for me. So I have my substitution over here. I'm going to go into my select tool, keep, the point in the underlay. Go over to my line art. I'll delete that. I'll delete the color that I created on the color art and go back to my line art. So once I'm inside the line art, I can activate the little eye that we have here to preview all the art layers. Right now, I don't have anything in here, so it makes it that much easier to see the point that we have here. So I want to center it same as with the other ones on the circle that was created to have the proper pivot. So I'll go and grab my ellipse tool, go to the center, so we can move in closer if that helps. Make sure I have the right color for the hand over here. And I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift and click and drag. And this will create my circle from the center of my point. So I'll try to make that about the same size as the line that we had here. Of course, it helps if you have the same width of the line. Um, I'll go into my tool properties and make sure that I have size three. And I'll go and redo the same thing. Alt, Shift, click and drag. So we'll try to have that circle that up to here so I know my pivot will rotate from this side and that the hand will start appearing from there. So I can go ahead into my pencil tool from there and go and sketch the rest of my hand if it helps or if I want to just clean it up from uh, the model that we had before that works as well. And we could just go and create those lines here to make sure that we have the entire hand. And we just go and connect the points, do a bit of cleanup if we want. Same as with the other drawings, we can then use the cutter tool. If it helps, you can turn on the uh, light table over here, cut away any excess drawings that you don't need. And finally, we would go and paint inside of that layer. We can have just a little a little bit more here. And we're gonna go back into our color art, transfer over the 
color art from the line art and simply go and using the paint bucket paint inside of it and there we have our new hand position here centered on the pivot point that we've created before so as we rotate we'll keep following the curve of the arm and uh, be able to have that nice smooth transition and having that nice consistency throughout all of your drawing substitutions.